Conference. We have here Olio Caro, Coach Saha Minoa, Seth Domingo, and Ivy Laxina of the Atari Chargers who won four sets against the single HD Spikers. Coach, congratulations on this victory, 5-0 in OD. How are you feeling about this win? Actually, we just lost that. Uh, every time we lost first set, and then after that, we will realize we need to hard work. And then I think the same decision. That's why we need to work on like different way. Because if keep on doing that, for sure it's like we just make it high intensity game. Because actually we can win 3-0, hopefully. But we lost first set, so extra 30 minutes. So hopefully, like uh, because going to be semi final final, only back to back game. So one day have a preparation. So maybe we need to work on different ways and then more proper preparation. Thank you, Coach. And for all the our player of the game, we had 24 points in this match. Um, Coach mentioned that you guys had a slow start. How did you guys come back from that and get the, the three sets? Well, a lot of the coaches were giving us feedback. I know for myself specifically, because in the first set, um, I know there were things that I wasn't doing well like with my attack and block. So I think the coaches did a really good job today of just giving a lot of feedback to, so we can work on those things. Thank you all again for said five and oh how you just up would be masasabi mo ba na talagang fully din na yung chemistry ng team then after those games? Um definitely definitely not but um I'm happy that we're getting there. And I'm happy that na uh, um, every game lahat kami like the players are really evolving and trusting the system of the coach Tama. So it's a it's a good sign going to the next round. Thank you, Sarah. And for Ivy, I have uh, five wins and four the so you is some of the top contributors in the team as I tell you. So how are you feeling being able to get those signs of wins? Um, kung ano naman po yung lagi ko sinasabi na kung ano naman po yung kaya kong ibigay sa team and yung support na kailangan po ni Oli. Kami naman po mga local players, tutulungan po namin siya. Thank you for coming Coach, since this is your first conference with Akari, what does this 5 0 start mean to you? Oh. Actually, we have a good player like Oli. So, actually, this match. It's not necessary to use a double substation. Uh, why are you using a double substation? Because of the, I want to make an improvement on AV1. Not only this conference, for maybe this conference or next time, like for the future, I was thinking about the future of the party. So we just start to work on that. So hopefully this work on that, keep going, our improve, make it our improvement. For said, no, siyempre kakarating mo lang sa Akari nung last conference. Ngayon, ano yung nakita mong pinakaki sa napakalaking improvement ng team para dito sa 5 heroes na yun? Um, to be honest, I must say it's really Coach Tapa and his, and, and his system. And um, also, yung mga nagdagdag na dagdag sa amin mga players like Ivy, Kamui, Danny, and um, Kams. Um, very big help talaga sila in um, this new Akari team. Ayun, yun yung mga, um, I guess, major changes na nangyari. And um, kita naman na ano, it's really working and everyone is um, yeah, trusting the system. Yeah. Ayun, in line with that din, said, uh, yun nga, new team, relatively new team din. So ano na yung feeling for you na kahit ang dami rin changes na sumalubong sa'yo sa Akari, yun nga wala yung wala mo na si Peter TV, na sa inyong players yung pumasok. Parang kamusta na yung pag-adapt mo sa sobrang daming changes din na nangyari. Ang bilis lang pinapanan mo. I guess, ano, it, ano, ganyan talaga when it comes to professional um, level, na you have to be able to be ready to, ano, in changes and learn to adapt. Kasi, um, I've been to a lot of um, changes sa dinamayan sa career ko. So, I guess, itong a uh, recent change na to. Um, hindi naman sa bago, but I think ano, um, may experiences na ako and I know na what to do when those changes come. And for Ivy, ano din sa team mo yung best or biggest change sa Akari na naging dahil lang din kung bakit 5-0 and grabe yung improvement ng team this conference so far. Uh, siguro, syempre yung sistema na meron ngayon. Kasi ano, uh, maganda yung sistema ni Coach Taka and talagang 
tumutulungan kami individually and as a team. Kaya uh, parang siguro yun yung pinakamalaking factor kung nasaan na yung akari ngayon. And ayun, uh, hindi pa namin ganun ka-memorize yung system pero um, hindi naman nagsasawa si Coach Naka na ipa ipaalala sa amin kung ano dapat yung sistema ngayon. And for Oli, quite a similar question. I guess what's the biggest change you've observed with the team from your first game up to this point in the conference? In the very beginning, it was a little bit all over the place because we didn't really have a lot of practices together before the first game uh, came. So there wasn't a lot of communication. There was a lot of confusion on the court. You could tell that there was so much you know, potential, but it was also a bit chaotic. So now, just with more trainings and just having more playing time together, more experience with the team. I feel like we're a lot more cohesive, so we just gel a lot better on the court. So it allows the game to be a little bit smoother at times. Yeah. Uh, for all, uh, Akari, you swept the first round. Uh, how does this validate, and, and after defeating one of the top teams in your bracket, how does this validate the hard work that uh, your team has been putting. Well, it's nice to get these kind of results when you're putting in a lot of effort every day. Uh, the team works really hard. Our coach here, he does a lot of behind the scenes stuff, a lot of crazy stat stuff. So it's nice to see it. <laughs> it's nice to see it, you know, like, um, it's nice to see it with the results that we're having. So, but it doesn't, I'm still very humble myself because even though we have these wins, I know that there's still so many things that I can work on and that the team can work on because it's just moving forward, like Coach Taka said, you know, we're not going to have all the time in between to work on stuff. So it's just really important that we still stay calm and we focus on the things that we're still struggling with as a team. For Coach Taka, how will this 5-0 start help you guys heading into the next round? Uh, top three team and top three team. I think for me, it's almost the same. You have to prepare well. Because if it's going to be like close against the top three team, you're just losing an uh, opportunity. And especially Pool B, Petrovas and Chocomucho, it's a really strong team. Pusho also, they will beat top three team in the Pool A. So it's going to be like confused, like ranking is going to be different. So we have to just focus on the win, like front of our game, just focus on the front of our game. And then we were safe for. For Ivy, tapo kisa pa natin yung pag-aaral niya dun sa system ni coach, tapo yung pagbubuo niya na chemistry. Ano siguro from this perfect round one? Ano siguro yung tita kamahalan yung dadalhin niyo pa kung tasa round two? Um, siguro ano yung hindi kami to mitigate na matuto, kasi um every day laging may bagong pinapagawa sa amin, gano'n. So, ano, ah, nakakita naman namin na sobrang laking tulong niya sa amin. Kaya siguro yun yung babaunin namin sa next round na walang mag-stop sa amin. Thank you, Oli. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Seth. Thank you, Ike. Thank you. Thank you.